Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you all are doing well this, during this COVID pandemic. Okay, so today we will discuss about singleton design pattern in automation. How we can use singleton design pattern in our automation. Okay, so before start with the implementation, first we have to know that what is singleton design pattern. So when we developed a class in such a way that it can have only one instance at a time that is called singleton design pattern it is very useful when you need to use same object of a class across all classes or a framework singleton class must return the same instance again and again if it is already initiated so it should not create another object it will return the same instance again and again so what is the requirement in automation how we can implement this one and what is the requirement so when we are developing a framework it is very required for us that we have to we have to keep track the same driver instance throughout the execution okay because in the framework there are multiple classes are there in the multiple classes we have to write the automation code but we need the same driver instance throughout the all classes okay so during that we need this singleton design pattern it is very useful using this one we can achieve that one Okay, and very easily so use singleton design pattern there is certain steps are there so those steps are that we have to declare the constructor of the class as a private so that no one can instantiate the class outside of it okay next point is that declare a static reference variable of the class static is needed to make it available globally okay third point is that Declare a static method with return type as an object of a class which should check if the class is already instantiated once or not. We will use this method from outside of this class. Okay. And also we can use this one for already I have told that to keep track of same driver instance throughout the execution. Otherwise we can use this singleton design pattern for database connectivity. To load external files like properties excel etc so that once rather than loading again and again to use logger also we can use the singleton design pattern okay this is all about so let's start with the coding how we can implement that this is the implementation of singleton design pattern i am using apm driver for example I have already told that to use singleton design pattern there are certain steps are there so first step is that declaring constructor as a private to restrict object creation outside of the class so I am making the constructor as a private second is that declare a static reference variable of the class here and third one is that declare a static method with return type as object of this class which should check if the class is already initiated once instanti instantiated once or not so here I am checking this one it is already present or not if it is null so it will create a object of this class otherwise it will say that the driver is already initialized okay inside the constructor what I am doing that I am just declaring the capabilities and I am creating the initializing the Android APM driver okay as an example okay and also I have created another public method which will return the driver object okay and this is the runner class where I have created the main method I have declared a main method inside that one first I have created one reference variable of this class and I am calling that static public method so it will return the object of this class and using that public get driver method so it will this method will return the driver what I have initialized inside the constructor and second also I have created uh, taking another reference variable also I am uh, calling this method again so it should it will give us a result that if it is already initialized then it will return the same object of this class okay so let run this class so first it's told that new driver initialized so 
so I can see in this class so here it will check first that if it is null see so why it is printing two times here I am calling in the line number 7 one time this method if I go inside this method so first it will check the if it is null or not so what is happening first time I have declared this reference variable as, as a null okay so it means that when it is running first time so it is a null okay so if it is null so it will print that new drive initialized and after that in the line number 48 so it is creating an object of this class means that it will call this constructor inside that constructor what I have I am doing that I am just declaring the desired capabilities and after that I am initializing the driver the, and the driver reference variable I have declared in the line number 14 and also I am making this driver as a private okay and I have written one public method so it will return this driver so in the line number 7 once when I am calling this one so it will check checking that what what is this it is a null so that's why it is printing this one and after that it's creating the object now come to the line number 11 when I'm running the execute executing this line number 11 if I go inside that one so it is checking this one so this variable is not null now so it is coming to else block it is printing that driver is already initialized so it means that it is creating one time of the object and though I am I have written that so I have already written the odd automation code the driver initialization part inside the constructor so and I am calling this constructor one time so that's why single driver object I can get I can run this method whatever times that's not uh, I can run again and again so it will return me the same object okay and using that object if I call this get driver method it will return me the same driver object again and again because it is not creating the driver again and again I think hope you guys understand this one if you have any doubt just comment on this video and if you want the selenium driver how to initialize the selenium driver also using singleton design pattern just comment on this video I can make another video on this one thank you guys